Merhaba, hello, my name is Johara Gemma. Today, on Speaking for the Animals, I will talk to you about something that is happening right in front of our noses. Something that shouldn't be happening in this era where we have computers, we have television, we have all kinds of entertainment. So, I don't know if this is called entertainment or just pain cruelty plain cruelty, or maybe both. You decide. I will talk to you about dog fights. Yes, dog fights are still happening in this era. These are the signs to look out for. Dog owners train their dogs by be making them aggressive. This is done by keeping them tied up outside in the hot sun with no food or water. They are also sprayed roach spray on their coats to keep other dogs away from them. Their ears are chopped off so no dog could approach them. They are injected with steroids which also make them aggressive. And when they are ready they are taken to a place called the pit to fight for the death. Yes, they fight to the death. And the result of this fight is the dogs go through serious injuries, including bo broken bones, broken jaw, and blood loss. These fights go on for hours until one of the dogs cannot fight anymore because he's too weak. He cannot even stand up from the blood loss and the pain to his bones and to his jaw. The winner dog, if you could say the winner dog, the victorious one, uh, will be forced to fight again and again and again until he cannot fight anymore. Then, when he cannot fight anymore, he is beaten, electrocuted, hanged, drowned, shot, and used as bait for other fighting dogs. Yes, that happens to them. That's the victorious of the dogs. Then the female dogs are kept tied up, strapped down. Yes, strapped down, tied up on rape stands so that the male fighting dogs can impregnate them. Mm -hmm. Dog fights are not only cruel and unnecessary, but can also lead to hazard and danger to people. And I will explain why. It can be dangerous to people, children, and other animals. Because these dogs are so broken down that they cannot be rehabilitated. All they think about is the aggression and the fights. That's all they, they know. So they have to be put down and cannot be rehabilitated. And, yeah, so I will ask you this, why are dog fights still happening? Entertainment, cruelty, or both? I will tell you now the good things about dogs and let you decide how cruel this is. Let me give you a little bit of insight on dog behavior and how good dogs can be. Dogs are very smart animals. They can be very good companions and loyal to their owners. Guard your house. Keep you company when you're lonely. Dogs will help you make new friends. Dogs will also help you stay active because you need to walk with them and play with them every day. 
Yes, if not, they get sad and lonely. Also, dogs can be used as working dogs. Many dogs work with the police to help them catch a killer or to sniff for drugs. Dogs can also help the vision impaired and people with physical limitations. So, with all this I've said to you about dogs, let us stop this cruelty of dog fights. If you see any anything like this happening, please report it. Don't let this happen. Remember, it's not only cruel to the dogs, but it's also dangerous to human beings, especially children. So, with all this said, think about all this and report it. Well, until next week, join me, Johara Gemma, in Speaking for the Animals. Salam. Peace.